We're glad you're still watching Morning at NTV and of course your premier morning show. We continue with a Kickstarter here where we are speaking uh, public relations. A symposium is coming on and it's believed to be one of the biggest events in uh, the industry. Here to share insights on what is going to be discussed and how it is going to play out in the industry are the brand manager at uh, Monitor Publications and the Greater uh, Nation Media Group in Uganda, Lorraine Tukahira. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Chris. Welcome to the program too, Tina Wamala. Thank you so Vice much. Vice President of the Public Relations Association of Uganda. Very first, let's dive into the symposium that's coming. What do we expect? What is going to be talked about and what could be achieved? First and foremost, the symposium is uh, one of the biggest first of its kind events, mm. calendar events for the PR industry in Uganda yep. that PRAO, the Public Relations Association of Uganda, have organized mm. in order to bring all key stakeholders of the industry together. And this is not just communication specialists. Mm. These are also stakeholders like CEOs, marketeers, mm. HR managers, salespeople, people from the academia as well as journalists together to convene to discuss all things public relations. Okay. As you're aware, PR is an integral part of any organization in today's world. Mm. The success of an organization heavily relies on public relations. Right. So we want to bring these stakeholders together so that we can discuss all relevant topical issues happening in the industry today. From the challenges that we face mm. in our roles as PR professionals in the organizations, to the experiences we've had, That's right. to learning from each other, benchmarking from each other, because we have seasoned uh, leading PR professionals mm. in this country that we're very proud of who have years vast experience, experience in the industry yeah. so we're going to be talking content marketing Chris mm. we're going to be talking digital media crisis management journalism and PR which you know are symbiotic mm. uh, functions or roles okay. we're going to be talking about all these various um, functions so that together as a unit as stakeholders we can understand the PR function number one mm -hmm. we can grow it together, we can develop it together so that the cohesion, the, the development of this industry within organizations is something that we work towards together mm. as one. Okay, you'll be telling us about how one becomes part of uh, this uh, particular event because uh, what I gather is that there's going to be a lot to learn, especially for those who want to be part of uh, the bigger fraternity That's of uh, okay. public relations in the country. But you are a practitioner, no doubt, as a brand manager at uh, Monster Publications Limited and your workings with a greater team mm -hmm. at Nation Media Group. Do you share the sentiments that have been expressed by the vice president in terms of how the industry is evolving and the challenges that it's facing yeah um pr is actually a very big uh, ad part of any company mm -hmm. and um you know at the end of the day why the symposium is here and why we are very proud to sponsor the symposium mm. as a media sponsor is because we want to change the narrative okay. and the perception that people have about PR. Because uh, most times you see that people or most companies look at PR as a reactive mm. instead, of, instead of a proactive. That's right. So it's, PR is not there to always help with the crisis <laughs> at the end of the day, but it uh, also yeah. contributes to the way you want people to perceive your brand. Yeah. Yeah, it comes down to brand per perception, brand awareness, and brand love. Okay. Yeah. In your workings with other stakeholders uh, within the industry, you could have interfaced with their particular challenges that uh, they face. You speak about the fact that it is hard for the public relations practitioners to be onboarded and uh, to be at the strategic level in decision making. How are we breaking that down for the CEO, for the chief financial officer to understand that you don't have to come to us after the crisis has come on board, you need to get us into the system and perhaps show you how something could happen mm -hmm. and how you could go on tackling it. Okay. So, you know, when you compare PR to sectors like marketing, uh -huh. when it comes to marketing, it's easy for you to measure your success because right. you're going to say at the end of the day I was able to sell to have 1,000 new subscribers uh -huh. when it comes to PR it's a bit difficult if you're not appreciating the role and value mm -hmm. of public relations you won't be able to measure the success mm -hmm. and yet indeed you have um, measures like increased brand love mm -hmm. or increased brand knowledge That's and right. uh, increased brand awareness at the end of the day so I believe with the symposium like Tina has mentioned the mm -hmm. fact that they're going to have 
a variety of attendees yeah. from uh, market for managers to the CEOs having them there and interacting with them is going to open their mind to realize that you know what at the end of the day this is a sector that we need to have mm -hmm. when we're creating our budgets mm -hmm. you need to give at least 40% or 30% to the <laughs> PR sector because okay. there is a lot they're going to bring to the table. There is a lot they're going to contribute to. Yeah. yeah, No doubt. Vice President of the Association, Public Relations Association of Uganda. First and foremost, how do I become part of the symposium? Because right now what I know is there's, there's a bit of buzz out there and mm. people are looking out to be, you know, how do I get to be part of it? First and foremost, the symposium is open to everybody, oh. not just communication specialists, as okay. Lorraine has mentioned. Mm. So people um, who are in academia, students are mm. welcome, CEOs, marketers are welcome to uh, register. So we have um, currently our secretariat who is mm. receiving registrations, and you can reach out on prauganda at yahoo.com, mm. or you can alternatively reach out on her number, which is 771 9000 34 okay. Brenda so it's very important that you reach out to her we have uh, tickets at 150 for proud members oh. 200,000 for non proud members and 50,000 for students is registration it, is open is it the next. connotation of coin and the fee a little bit <laughs> too much for the average Chris Higeni <laughs> That is why we have the different categories, uh -huh, different categories and we also uh -huh. have corporate rates. Uh -huh. So your organization um, monitor can actually, you know, pay mm. for tickets for your um, for the staff to attend. Okay, yeah. just uh, a little bit uh, specific on the speakers, the people who are going to be sharing some of these uh, insights and knowledge. Who are the most prominent? Who should we look out for? So f our keynote speaker is Ramadan Gobi, who is the permanent ah, secretary of the Ministry of Finance. That's interesting. Um, we have a lot to learn, mm. like I said, Chris. We need to learn about how PR is shaping the future of organizations. Mm. That is the theme of our the symposium, of yeah. how PR is shaping the future of organizations. So he is our keynote speaker, but will also be graced by the patron of PRAO, who mm. is the minister for ICT, um, Honorable Chris Barrio Munsi. Mm. We are also very privileged to have seasoned mm. PR professionals who are going to be moderating different sessions, panel ah, sessions, sure. um, like the likes of Julius Muchungizi, who is mm. the mm. communication specialist of the Office of the Prime Minister. Myself, I'll be moderating a session. Mm. Uh, we have Sheila Naturinda, who is going to be moderating a session on journalism and PR, where do you draw the line, yeah. where do you bridge the gaps. Okay. Um, we have various speakers from within Prao, from outside of Prao, including mm. your very own Tony Glenclos, who will be oh, talking to us wow. about yeah. content uh, She marketing. speaks about uh, the intersection, especially for the media, between mm. PR and how the media plays its part. Mm. There is there's a thin line sometimes mm. when doing yeah. journalism. Mm. Uh, some people look at uh, the stories and they're like, hey, I think that's a little bit of PR. Monitor Publications Limited is a journalism entity. And of mm -hmm. course, uh, the PR imperative comes on board. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether we have harmonized that within the Greater National Media Group, mm -hmm. or we still grapple with drawing the line between PR and journalism. Um, I think that's also something, the reason, another reason why we decided to partner uh, as is, a media yes, sponsor. as a media sponsor, mm. is when you look at uh, Nation Media Group as a whole, mm. we have all these platforms that we use to disseminate communication and information out there. That's right. And like you've said, at the end of the day, mm. PR always <laughs> falls into <laughs> yeah. some part of it. Yeah. So um, when it comes down to monitor, our tagline is truth every day. Mm -hmm. What's PR trying to push? Like I said, PR is truth. not a, a reactive, exactly. it's yeah, more it's proactive. More yes, so when it comes down to the stories that PR is trying to put out, mm. we have the platform for that. Okay. You have TV, you have all these different programs, you have radio, you have uh, uh, social media platforms. It's, it's an umbrella. Mm. At the end of the day, we are trying to manage the impact on the perception mm. that our consumers have of the different brands. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tina will be giving us a bit of perspective on uh, a very contentious issue. But let me first uh, stay with you on the solutions mm. as a practitioner on some of these uh, gray areas that mm. continue to uh, bedevil the industry. Mm. Have you guys come up with a blueprint that you'll be sharing with, especially the policymakers who mm. are coming on board in as far as the symposium is concerned? Yeah, um, 
for the symposium mm. tina will take us through later okay. but uh, like we had talked about the symposium is one of the few solutions that we have mm. to tackle the issues that mm. uh, prow as an association is facing and mm. pr mm. but then um when it comes down to other solutions i would say you have to do more of um education mm. you know impact knowledge and skills in the consumers oh, okay. you're opening up their mind to realize that at the end of the day this is how you need to perceive the public public relations ah, society okay. sorry association yeah very good mm. uh, lastly uh we're not uh, time is not our best ally as some of the icons of the industry do say sometimes i just want you to talk about the legal aspects pr yes. has been one of the professions that has struggled for that you know, identification, mm, recognition, yeah. how far are we? I'm happy to say that our governing council, which I'm part of, mm. has made very good strides in that line. Um, we have a draft in place mm. as we speak. The next step is to uh, organize a stakeholder meeting because mm. it's important that all players in the industry are involved. Mm, okay. They contribute to the draft before we table it to parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be keeping you updated on how far we've reached with that. But it is work in progress. Okay. I like the dose of optimism that is coming from uh, the Vice President of the Public Relations Association of Uganda. And of course, uh, we also had uh, Lorraine Tukahira, yes. the Brand Manager at uh, Monta Publications, okay. and uh, of course, uh, the Greater Workings of uh, Nation Media Group. Uh, that will do it for this particular discussion. Of course, you can catch the Public Relations Symposium as it will be happening just again. The date? 29th, 29th April, mm -hmm. 2022, next Friday, mm -hmm. at Hotel Africana, starting at 8 a.m., Onwards. There you have it, and it does it for this segment. Morning at NTV continues. I'm Chris Higgins.